Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today I'm going to show you how to install and use a contact form using the built-in contact module in Drupal 7. So to get this started, we're just going to go to Modules and enab enable that module. Because it is a core module, we do not have to install it. It is already in your core section of your modules page. So if we go down here and we click on uh, Contact, and we're just going to scroll to the bottom and save the configuration. Okay, now to the right of con the uh, contact, you'll see that there's help permissions configure. We're going to click the configure, and here it's going to say that it has created a contact form for us already, and the link to it is disabled by default in the menu. And so we're just going to have categories, website feedback, and recipients are, is my email. Of course, you can edit this if you want to send it to a specific email, but by default, it's going to grab the email that you used to uh, register the site with when you first installed it. As you can see, uh, there's a different weights or anything like that. So this is this category. And if we add another category, we'll just say um, projects. You know, let's say this person wants to contact us about projects. And this is also going to go to me, although, you know, you would want, maybe want this to go to somebody else or something. Okay. So we just have two just so you can see what this does. Um, selected yes, selected no. Okay. So, um, like this says, it has already created this page for us, and we're going to go to the menus, like it has the link there and under navigation is the menu it puts it in and here is our contact page we're just going to enable this so we can see it on our page okay and here is the contact form so by default you have your name your email address your subject and whether you're contacting about projects or just website feedback of course, both of these are going to me right now. However, if you wanted to select them to go to different people, that's very well possible in the configuration edit screen that we saw before. So after we type all this stuff in and click send message, it's going to send an email to the person that the contact form has as a recipient. Now, since this site is locally, it's not going to send an email. So I'm not even gonna bother clicking the send a message because it's not going to work. Um, the upside is, is that installing the Drupal default contact form is very easy and very simple. The downsides are is that it's very simple and not configurable. Um, in the next lesson, I'm going to show you a module called WebForm that is a very robust commenting system that I use on my projects instead of Drupal's core contact module. Once again, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and thanks for watching.